two, poof! How's it going, guys? So today, guys, we are reacting to Halloween, the song Halloween. Not to confuse it. Uh, so let's go. Let's uh, let's go. Here we go. The songs, a long song. So get ready. We're looking about 13 minutes. So here we go. I got like an Am I Evil feel. Or the first part. There. Fucking doomsday. Oh man, this is like that marching shit. Yeah. Hey, good voice, man. Sounds like a real Iron Maiden kind of Bruce Dickinson, eh? This one's kicking double kicks. Those little kicks, man. Oh yeah, it's totally Iron Man. Actually, I reacted to some um, Halloween too, some earlier on when I first started the channel, and they're 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 a solid band, man. Especially live. Holy shit. I always like the cover of this album too. Yeah, I mean, you can totally hear the Iron Maiden influence though. So these gallops. Man, to, to be drumming, I don't know what it is about drumming lately, but I've just been loving search, like each band's uh, drummers that we react to and all that. And I just love it when those double kicks kick in, man. It's just, there's no better feeling than double kicks kicking in. Or kicking in, sorry. These gallops are awesome. Oh shit. Oh, for the voice, that must be so hard to do, man. Damn. I like the bass there. Yeah. Oh man, this would be cool live. Cause live you get that extra like. Oh, 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 oh. And they 
Yeah, I man, they've totally got that Iron Maiden thing, like the, the that sound. I think it's cool. This guy can sing. Them. Ooh. I love those little downwards for the solos when you get uh, sort of crescendo down the, the neck. It's very Megadeth style. Yeah, some good vocal ability, man. Oh, here comes the build. We can just hear it live. Oh, I like that with, with the keys there, or if they got an order shot, I don't know, but the little oh. Oh, shit. Second guitar solo. It's always good in my books. I should try and do one of these compilations with the try not to headbang. You guys let me know. I'll probably lose every single one. <laughs> yeah, let me know if you guys want a, a try not to headbang challenge. What we'll are doing anyways? We'll see how it goes. Would be fun. Darkness. Where am I now? Is there anybody out there? What is happening? Am I in heaven? Or is it hell? I can see a light coming. I like it. It's coming here. It's shining. It shines so bright. It's on Holy shit! Yeah. Half time. Again, some impressive drum work. I love those bends. And right back into it. Oh, no. Don't end, keep going. Holy shit, this is an epic song, man. Yeah. This is awesome. Definitely digging this. This is awesome. Some sick armor, man. 
Gotta be so in, in sync to get that right. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, this would be a this would be a tough like if you had to do a try not to drum challenge or uh, air drum. That's pretty impressive because that's that's harmonizing, man. I sound like Dragon Force here through the fire and flames. <laughs> Oh shit, this is a long song. <laughs> It kind of reminds me of the um, early 80s, like when things like uh, Metallica and all that started taking off with the, um, you know, the longer songs, the more eight minute, you know, seven, six minute normal songs. And then you got songs like this that sort of pushed the, the boundaries. It was like 10 to 13, you know, so, and then 16, and then Zeppelin smashing Stairway, and, you know, that's another eight to 10 minute song. So it's like, you know, just a, the early classic metal where they were really pushing the boundaries with like, but how long the song could go, but still keep you in the song, you know? Because, like, I can listen to this and just go on a headbang and you just want it to keep going, kind of thing. It's a good song. Some really intricate harmonizing at the end of here, though. <laughs> okay. This song is, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's a pretty long song. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, there's Halloween. Holy shit. Alright, so, so guys, so that was a uh, Halloween Halloween. Um, going back when I was, I uh, did the first couple reactions with, uh, Halloween, um, and they had, uh, just listening to their, some of their tunes, they have that real classic metal, but totally Iron Maiden sounding like, you can't deny that they sound a lot like Iron Maiden, but that's not a bad thing, I, I think that's cool, um, but I think they were, they were also around the same time period too, right, so it's like, you know, when you have bands of certain eras, they all kind of, they have similar sounding, sounds and all that, and you can hear that they're that early 80s, and like I was mentioning just towards the end here with the, with the video, um, they have that, you know, they were pushing the boundaries with how long a song could go kind of thing, and, uh, but they still keep you in the song. It's just towards the end, I was starting to starting to fade a bit because it's, it starts getting a bit repetitive when you don't want to go too, too long, right? So I think that, you know, I, I'd say a, a 10 minute song is like getting pretty close, you know, unless it's a real epic proportions kind of thing. And a song has a lot of dynamic changes because you need that fluctuation in songs to really, you know, to, to take you up, take you down. No matter the song, even if it's a slow song, you always have that slow kind of build. If a song is kind of stagnant, it gets really boring, right? So even even slow songs have a build to them. It might not be like a a metal thing where it's like fucking like this and then slow and then boom and the, the, the acoustic beginning and then the hardcore middle and then, you know, so all songs are different, but all songs have that dynamic fluctu fluctuation in the songs. Um, I don't want to get, that sounds really technical, but it's, it really isn't. Um, it's just dynamics of a song. Anyways, uh, sort of losing myself here a bit. But um, anyways, I thought that was a good tune. 
regardless, um, Singer can sing, man. Um, I like some of the bass licks, really mind me of that Steve Harris kind of sound. Um, you know, and then the drummer, you know, with the chimes and all that, they have that Iron Maiden sort of thing. They have that Nico McBrien kind of setup, or at least from what I was hearing, the double kicks is awesome. I love that kind of style, which is cool. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was Halloween Halloween. Um, and yeah, guys, we'll see you in the next one, okay? Keep rocking. And, uh, oh, uh, by the way, uh, if you guys have any um, requests for uh, try not to headbang sort of stuff, let me know, because I want to, like, if you guys want me to do it, I'll, I'll do it. I'll probably post one anyways, and then we'll just see how it goes. But yeah, um, if you guys have any recommendations for what to you or what channel to go to for try not to headbangs or, what, you know, try not to whatever, um, well, m more musically inclined, right? Not those laugh or cringe, whatever. I just want to do, like, a musician-style thing. So if you guys have any suggestions for that, let me know, and we'll see you in the next one, okay? Keep rocking.